Hi everybody. Welcome to Fixing Things with Pastor Bill. <laughs> and I'm Pastor Bill. Uh, yes, yesterday's episode, or last episode, uh, we put the two front tires on this. And I said that if, if we had enough time, I'd go ahead and throw the three-point hitch to stuff. Well, I didn't have time, but we do got the tractor on its own feet on the front end. And it was a battle. Uh, one of the rims, just to break the bead, took probably close to three hours. The other one, about a, an hour and a half. Uh, the vice method worked a lot better than the other three methods that I tried. <laughs> I got the method, methods off of uh, other YouTube channels that looked like they had some success with them. Uh, but uh, the vice seemed to work the best. You just squeeze the heck out of it with the vice and hit it with the cold chisel on the bead a few times around the edges and it came right off unscrewed it took the rim apart did my grinding put it back together and it was done um so today uh it's gonna be a simple one i tell you what the mosquitoes out here today it's crazy the sky is dark and uh there were so many mosquitoes on me I, I felt 20 pounds lighter from them trying to lift me off the ground to take me away somewhere. I think they're uh, some kind of hybrid type. Maybe the government's working on these guys or something. I don't know. But let's get to that three-point hitch and uh, let's get that thing together. All right? Oh yeah, he's looking happy. All right, so here's the kit I got. It came in a package like this. Now it's waterlogged. It's been sitting outside, but I figured the inside stuff can't be hurt. So it came in a package like that. And I got it off eBay for around uh, $150 and it's for a, a, a class one hitch so I'm hoping that we should not have no problems this is a class one tractor that we should not have no problems I do know that I'm gonna have to get some bolts to hold the, the side links things that holds that holds the arms up but uh, I got some bolts uh, so let's get started hopefully uh, I'm not missing anything. I do got to put on the, the top thing. I got it inside on my parts shelf. I will uh, go out and get that and we'll put that on too. But uh, right, let's get started on it. I probably should put that on first. Let me go get it. Okay. Here's what the top link mounts to. And it bolts through the four bolts on top of the uh, transmission there, the rear differential PTO area, and you, it's used. I bought one already, it didn't fit, so we're gonna put this one on. This one is the one for the tractor, and I'm pretty sure, I don't know, we'll try. Okay. Here's where it bolts on, and it's the right one. It fits good, but I got mud dauber's nest filling up all these holes. So we're gonna have to get in here and clean these out. Oh, we just killed that one. It's gooey. That one's dry. See, so we, we gooed out one of them. This one here. Oh, gotta get out of there. It's starting to rain again.
Me and mosquitoes are just terrible. Like I said on the last one, we're, I'm under the gun, now I'm pressured with a deadline. There's a, the White Oak Fair is coming and my wife is dead set on winning that zero turn lawnmower at the fair and she thinks we're gonna win it with this little tractor now there's probably gonna be tractors a lot bigger than this one well we'll give it a good go we got a good strong little motor here oh These are even the right bolts. These are the bolts that came with the, the other one. This didn't have any bolts for it. I do got some. I got this cobalt wrench set at Lowe's a day before yesterday for $19.
this is regular uh a gazillion dollars at least i mean it's a it's nice it says valued at 225 dollars i don't know if i'd pay that much for it but comparable wrench sets that were up there cobalt you know 79 80 dollars 100 dollars so who knows let's see if my socket now won't reach into the See if we can get a wrench on it. Ugh. Let's get the ones that we can tighten up. I'm gonna tell you, man, the mosquitoes are kicking. Let's see if we can't get this thing together. The video stopped for some reason. I'm not sure why. That's the wrong way. I'm pretty sure that's the wrong way.
I know this bolt is not right. I got to get a pin. I'll stop by Tractor Supply this week. But for now, it's good. All right, I just got to tighten it up. Go give me some big sockets. Bigger than that. Okay. We have the three point hitch hooked up. One, two, three. Got adjustments on it. It's ready to hook a plow up. Ready to hook a box scraper. Ready to hook a mini uh, backhoe onto it. Whatever you want to put on it is ready to go work. Ah. He's smiling. Well, that's the end of this episode today. It was an easy one. I had a few little setbacks. I had to figure out how to put it on. Uh, the left and right uh, are different on some of the parts on there, but that's all right. We got it going. We got it figured out. Uh, I may have to do some modifications to the little linkage that allows it to slide. I may add some chains in there instead of just solid uh, linkage there. That way it uh, has a little bit of flexibility when uh, putting the implements on. But uh, I'll figure that out once I get going. From here on out, here on out with this, this tractor, I got to get it ready for the show. I got to get it ready for the fair. And that means we're going to be doing body work. We're going to be taking these rims off the rear and uh, painting them, sanding them down and painting them. We're going to paint this tractor. Uh, uh, we're going to do the body work. We're gonna, I mean, we're gonna fix it all. I got some new headlights for it. We're gonna get the headlights working. We got that horn, uh, the, and we got a bunch of decals and everything to put on it. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll even fix his smile a little bit. What do you think? 
This is Fixing Things with Pastor Bill. Now I gotta get up. Uh, and front tires look good. <laughs> 